Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right. Hello, everybody. It is Jay Crater. I am recording this today on April 27th on Monday. You're going to be listening to this uh, one week later. And uh, it's interesting. You know, today I'm going to be talking about unemployment, the situation with unemployment, because for most of us, this is our biggest uh, government payout. And I'll cover some of the numbers as I go through this. But you know, some states are um, actually paying benefits already. I'm in California. California, we're not getting paid yet. We can't even apply yet. Some states aren't paying yet, but they're accepting the uh, PUA applications. Some states are building new websites. That's what's happening in California. And some states just uh, are a little slow, and they're not going to have anything until May, mid-May. So what I'm going to do is share with you what we know about the benefits in different states. And then uh, I'm also going to cover uh, my strategy for getting unemployment benefits in um, California. So just to cover the basics, as independent contractors, you know, we're not supposed to get unemployment benefits. But um, because of this pandemic, on March 27th, the CARES Act was passed, and that uh, had a big bunch of money for those of us who are independent contractors to get unemployment uh, benefits. And the amount we get varies by state. In California, the amount is $167 per week. We can get that for 39 weeks. So let's see, how much is that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna calculate that right now. 167 times 39. That's $6,000, okay? And then we can also get $600 a week for 16 weeks, basically for the month of April, May, June, and July. And I know that's $9,600. So this total money, at least in California, if you stayed unemployed for 39 weeks, is over $15,000. Now, you could probably make more money than that driving in, in 39 weeks, but it's still quite a bit of money. And if you're only stopped driving just for the four months of April, May, June, July, you're making uh, $767 a week. Not so bad. But up until this point, it's all talk because no one in California has gotten that money yet. So let's break this out by state. You know, some states are getting zero. Some states are getting some money. Um, There was a map that uh, CNBC put out that showed, um, you know, states that were in green, you know, in the money. And uh, there are a few of those, but most of the states are gray, which means nothing, nothing yet. So these are the states that are paying benefits already. Um, Alabama, Colorado, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, New York, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Texas, and Utah. And we've also heard that people are getting money in Massachusetts and Illinois. And then there are other states that have started accepting applications, but they haven't paid yet. And uh, at the time of this writing, it's North Dakota, Pennsylvania, Vermont, Massachusetts, Washington, Maryland, North Carolina, and Illinois. But what we're hearing from readers, right? So I post uh, all these videos and people make lots of comments. Uh, One of our readers says, uh, Illinois is good to go. Just apply. Then fax. uh, Funds available in Illinois right now. He doesn't say if he's gotten paid yet, but he says he's uh, been approved. 
Here's another guy. I got my PUA benefits a few days ago. It was easy. Answered a few questions. Uh, he's in Massachusetts. Um, but uh, he says, uh, put your job is infected COVID. I thought I would only get 600, but I'm getting 268 plus 600. So Massachusetts is paying more than California. Good for you. And there's a guy named Dave. He says, I'm in Missouri. And I got mine today along with the 600 per week. They back paid me two weeks. So that's pretty awesome. Another reader sent in um, something from uh, Pennsylvania, and you can certainly apply. It says uh, file a PUA claim. So good for you guys. That, that's really, really fantastic. Uh, now, some people can't just sit around and wait. Uh, we've been saying, you know, go, uh, go deliver food, go deliver groceries. And, um, you know, those are things you can do. One question we get asked a lot is, uh, well, can I, can I apply for unemployment if I'm still working for somebody else? Say I'm working for Instacart. And the answer is yes, you can apply for unemployment uh, because you're not driving for Uber and Lyft anymore. And since you're working as an independent contractor for Instacart, there's really no way for the unemployment department to, to know what you're doing. Um, the only way they have access to your information is if you're a W-2 employee, right? You're, you're actually classified as an employee, and the company you're working for is putting uh, is, is paying payroll taxes and submitting money to the unemployment fund. There is the question of, you know, do you feel that's the right thing to do? You're kind of like double dipping, right? You're working and you're collecting unemployment. These are very tough times, and, and uh, you know, people do what they got to do. Um, in difficult times. I don't see how you would get caught. Uh, it really comes down to, you know, what's going to allow you to, to sleep at night. But that's a question we get asked a lot. Now, let me just talk about California. In California, uh, they're building a whole new website, which is supposed to go live tomorrow, which is the 28th. So by the time you heard this, hopefully California has gone live. And uh, when it goes live, they say that um, you're going to be able to get your money in 24 to 48 hours, which was quite remarkable. So uh, according to the website, you can begin to apply at two in the morning. <laughs> so I'm going to set my alarm for 145 and see what happens. I'm going to get up. I'm going to make a little Nespresso and I'm going to see if the website is, is on um, at two in the morning. I feel like it's really important to get in front uh, of the line. I think if I waited until seven or eight in the morning, there's going to be like a million of people. There's so many people in California that are just waiting. There's so many gig workers and, and drivers in California. So I would encourage you, if you have not been able to apply yet and your state has given you a date, to uh, find out what's the earliest you can get online and get online early. Get online early, get your application in and get at the front of it because most people sleep in. They're not on top of it, and those people are all going to hit it all at once. They could crash the system. Uh, there could just be delays. And, uh, you know, usually when you're at the front of the pack, things happen a lot faster. So those are my strategies. So that's an update for you. That's uh, what's going on with the unemployment situation as of today, today being the 27th. And I'll keep, I'll keep updating this, um, you know, as we, as we go through this crazy, crazy time. You know, I uh, I do miss driving. I, I try to drive every day where I just go out and, I mean, just getting in my car, you know, and just going to either get a, um, a vanilla sweet cream cold brew at Starbucks. You know, you can order ahead and just go pick it up or going to get a deli sandwich or going to the grocery store. Those are about the only things I do um, in my car. I do try and get out every morning and take a walk just to get out in nature and, you know, feel the sun on my face. Otherwise, I'd be inside all the time. But I do miss the driving, you know. Um, being a rideshare driver uh, was never about making a, a killing with money, you know. It was just like good, clean work. People were happy with the service. It was pretty hassle-free. It was pretty easy to do. Uh, you could do it on your own schedule. And that's been taken away from, from us. Um, 
the, the money's not there anymore, the demand isn't there anymore, and there's this huge risk of getting sick. And I gotta say, I miss it. I just, uh, I really enjoyed it while it was uh, it was good, you know, while we had the opportunity to, to do it. I, I got to do it for four years, and I don't know that I'll ever go back to it, but um, I do miss it. I just gotta put that out there. So while we're missing it, we can at least get some money for missing it. And that's what this uh, episode is all about. Uh, unemployment, getting some unemployment insurance money, which uh, we were promised uh, on March 27th. So let's go get it. Be smart about it. Uh, if you uh, have success, go, go to one of the videos and, and you know, make a comment. Um, I just uh, got another video that just is going to go out tomorrow, which is the 28th about the uh, unemployment by state. And uh, yeah, just go give give me some comments. And the next time I do a podcast episode, I can share some more comments so you can uh, hear what's going on. All right. Fantastic. I want to say that's a wrap. Fist bump to all you drivers out there. You rock it every day. I honor you. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Be super safe. Be super safe. Be safe. This is Jay Crater, a.k.a. Nomad Jay, saying this episode is in the can. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.